I think I have a tendency to like break stuff these days. Well, it's not really a problem if this breaks, like I can like wrap this off no problem. I can just pop it back on. But this part actually fell in some high bar tube that I always put my put my camera on. I ripped it out and then it said plop and it fell down. Anyways, today is Friday and it's time for a new team training. Today we are gonna go do Schweinach, that's like in Rotterdam. And we have to do half routines. Problem is for me, I still can't do like stallers and endos. So on high bar it's gonna be uh, a little different. But on floor I'm just gonna try my best. I haven't done floor this week. So uh, I don't know how that's gonna work out, but we're just gonna try our best. Try to hit that half routine. Did you guys know, in my free time I'm actually a chemist, a scientist. Someone who performs chemistry things. Look, we got this sick thing, shaker cup kind of thing. It has two holes in it, well two sections. So I'm gonna put stuff in the first hole and then in the second hole. And then I'm gonna drink out of the hole. Like the only problem with this thing is I tend to forget which is in what section. So but that might just be me because I'm just a mm, different person. Yeah, boy. Pre workout in this one, BCAs in this one. Alright. Yeah, boy. Look at this pole, guys. It fucking cracked. What the hell? That's crazy. That is the proof that the wind was blowing pretty damn hard. Marcel's over there. I'm gonna ride along with him. And I'll see you guys there. Super ziek dit. Dan kunnen we ook bijvoorbeeld ja. dat, dat we één dag zeg maar niet van onszelf posten, maar iemand die posten. Ja. Yeah. Under fun, simply use hashtag online add-on. So we just made a post on Instagram. Casimir and I are going to do a little game. We are going to play a online add-on game. The idea is we are going to post every other day and like keep the sequence of little skills going. So for example, today Casimir posted this and then tomorrow I will post that skill with another skill behind it. So probably something like this. And then the day after that, he is gonna post again, and the day after that, I'm gonna post again, and again, and again, and again, until we have 20 or something skills. That's gonna be pretty crazy. And that's gonna be actually really good for our endurance too, for the European Championships. So follow us both on Instagram, the links will be in the description. And I'll see you guys there. And we are back with the weekly Dutch national team training commentary thing, I don't know. But we started off on high bar and I started off with my first half routine with the Casina. Yeah boy, I caught that one but then I did the calm one and it was so far. Hear those reactions. I could barely hold on to the bar, it was like two figures, go go gadget arm, but I managed to hold on to it. And this was my second attempt. This casino was actually a lot better, and this coma was also a lot better too. But as you can see here, my head also just bounced off the bar a little bit. But that was no problem, I got two out of two, that is absolutely sick, my best yet. Uh, and here I did the second half, as you may know, 
uh, I couldn't do the startlers and stuff because of my hip injury. It is going a lot better, uh, but we still wanted to like be safe and just not do those. And I actually managed to hit one of those turns. It was the first time doing that Suleiman on a hard landing. Uh, so I was pretty happy with that. But the Suleiman wasn't perfect. It didn't really like fully turn in and out all the way. Uh, so we need to work a little bit on that. So high bar was very nice. Only then we did floor and that wasn't very nice. As you can see, I could barely turn out that double double. And this two and a half double was also just rubbish. Then I just went for my first half. I couldn't do the quadruple twist because then I had to run really hard. And that's not good for my hip and my, my hip flexor and all that stuff. Uh, so I still tried the first half. But yeah, it didn't really work out. Like every line was just... I wasn't just bouncing. I didn't do floor at all that week. Only one training I did those double doubles. Probably had to do a little bit with that. But I did, just didn't come off the floor like... Look at this, this is just pathetic. So next week we definitely have to fix that floor. I need to do a lot of floor because I'm also like a little bit behind on my endurance training because like I didn't like train anything on the floor so that kind of sucked. Uh, so we definitely need to go full force into our next week of training. Go full force with that floor training. Hopefully my hip will feel better next week and then we can just smash that floor again. And then I also did some P-bars. I did these swings for the Suarez. And I also did like the second half of my routine pretty much. Uh, there only needs to be a Bilicechev uh, in between the Hanma and the dismount. And then it's pretty much my second half of the routine. The first half will, but will then be uh, the peach to handstand and then the Suarez and the straddle front. And then also a little bit of pommel horse for you. I did some Wugians. I did the Tong Fei with the rod after it. So that's pretty much my second half of my routine on pommel horse. Only need to be a dismount after that and then it's my entire second half. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this training. Hi guys, I'm home again and I was feeling pretty hungry but I forgot to ride past that kebab stand that we passed last week. So we are actually gonna check if that's still open. Oh yeah boys, got the cheat meal of the week, feeling good, feeling full, yeah boys! Mm -hmm.